Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today I want to talk about the Amazon recyclable package that I've been trying to break down in one of my bins. Now, this is the packaging that looks like this, and it has these little white dots on it, as you can see right here. And I have had a lot of people respond and tell me what these white dots are, which is cornstarch, apparently. That's what they're saying these are made of, so they're not plastic. I did have one that I took out of my bin last time. I dried it out. We're going to try burning it um, just to see if it, if it kind of like melts together or if it really burns. I and mean, that's going to be a very good... Uh, way to look at whether this is plastic or not. I really don't think they are because it does say that you can throw these directly into your recycle can and it should be with paper and that they will recycle them. So that's a really good thing if it is not a plastic and it's something that really goes through the recycling system and it's something hopefully we can throw in our bins and have just disappear. Now I don't know about cornstarch when I looked up composting of it there wasn't a lot of information I could find. So we're testing this out. We're going to see how it works. And we threw in an envelope a little smaller than this one, actually. So it, it should be something where we should, be, if we should see tons of dots in there. If we're not finding tons of dots, they are breaking down. If we find tons of dots, they're not in a worm bin, at least. Maybe they need a hot composting pile. But with that, let's start first with seeing if this one dot will burn when we put some fire on it. Now let's go take a look at that. All right, so here is our little dot here that we're going to burn. This is one that came out of the bin. It dried up and everything. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to not hold this in my hand while I'm trying to burn it. So I'm going to put this in some piece of pliers right like this. And then I've got my lighter here. We're going to see how this burns. I'm just curious. This is not a really scientific test. But see how it's burning? And it's actually charring that way. That typically means, and it went out, but that typically means that it's not plastic. And the reason why I say that, as it's still smoking here, is that plastic tends to melt. In fact, it's still hot here as I blow on it. You can still see the embers. Um, I'm not too worried about the smoke coming off of this, but like as you can tell, this is not something that is really that big of a deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in a piece in a jar and put this out, but see how it burned? It did not melt, so this is definitely not a plastic derivative in my mind. That's, that's what I've noticed. Plastic doesn't tend to burn quite like this. It tends to melt first and then burn. So let's go now and take a look at the bin and see if these are actually composting in the bin. All right, so here is our bin. And as you can see, our last update was 110. I'm going to put another sticker on here, although I think this might be the last time we check into this. We'll see. And that is 226 for today. So with that, let's open this up and take a look. Up oh, top is pretty dry here. Um, actually, there's no moisture at all in the lid, it looks like. So it might be a little bit dry here. We're going we're gonna to dig in though and check. Now, um, I do want to point out uh, that first issue, you can see there's a whole bunch of these dots in here. So they're not breaking down quite as much in the system as expected. The other thing that's very surprising here, I'm going to just shift the bin so you can maybe see, is there's a ton of worms on this side. A lot of baby worms, a lot of different sized worms. Um, I do wonder if it's a little too dry in here maybe or something. Um, I'm surprised by that. So... Let's dig in and see how this looks. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I do have some food here to go because I thought maybe there might be a need for some food. But let's just see here. First off, these dots. Yeah, these are not breaking down like I hoped. There's quite a few of them. Let's just see as we get down further in here. Even down here in the bottom, I'm not finding them really breaking apart. It looks like they're very resistant. I don't think, as I said, I don't think they're plastic. But they're definitely... Um, something that does not break down really in this type of composting system. There is no food left in here. I think that's why the worms are starting to kind of crawl around. They look kind of small. I am going to feed them though this time. I just dig around this corner. Again, we're finding more white dots it looks like as we flip through these. So yeah, I don't think these are breaking down in my, my worm system. Here's another one right here. You know, so, I mean, I'd mixed this up once before. I'm finding lots of small worms in here, too, which is really strange to me. Um, normally, I find much larger worms, but look at this. I mean, you can see how small they are in here, too, you know, down in here. So, you got tiny little worms. And they seem to be gravitating towards these corners, which means it's a little dry, although it does feel like the moisture content to me would be fine. This looks like it'd be good for a harvest, actually. I mean, I'm afraid to squeeze it to see if I can get any water out because of these tiny little worms everywhere in the in the system. But again, 
we're finding lots of white dots. I mean, another one right there, and you can tell they're really not, they're just not breaking down as one would expect. I really expect these to be further along at this point. It's been months that this system has been going. All the cardboard though from the worm packaging, or from the, well, except for maybe this piece right there, but almost all the cardboard from the packaging is gone. So the worms have just torn that apart, which is not surprising, they should be. But the dots still remain, although I'm not finding as many, I expected to find a lot more. So maybe some of them did break down. But like, you know, there's another one right there. It's hard when you start mixing this stuff in. There's another one right there. So there's pieces of one right here, it looks like. So maybe they, they are breaking down a little bit, although it's hard to tell. And I think it's just folded over on itself. Yeah, there's more over here. So I don't think these white, white dots are gonna break down in a worm bin. I mean, this bin feels pretty nice, I have to say, as far as texture and everything. I mean, it really does. It feels like this would be perfect to harvest. Um, I'm not quite ready to do that yet. Um, I have to have another system ready to go to put them in or somewhere to put all these worms. But you can see there's more dots over here and they're just not breaking down in this system. I'm, I'm gonna call this a failure as far as the Amazon packaging to break down. I know others have said that they have had them break down no problem, you know, but uh, they don't seem to be breaking down in this system. I can't imagine that I would have to like layer them with food or something like that. Or maybe, maybe if I saturated them with water, but again, I still don't think that they are a bad material. It's not plastic, I don't think. I think it's just that the they're very resistant to this and they probably need some heat to get that process maybe going. And if we did do that, maybe if we had if I had a hot composting system and I could throw them in there or something, you know, that might be a case. But with that, we're gonna say that that's not a, this is not a success. This doesn't work. I mean, I'll still put this out in my yard because I think that it's safe. It's not plastic itself, but Overall, I would not I would not compost these Amazon mailers anymore. I will just throw these in recycling. You know, there's no reason to throw a package like this when it says it's recyclable. I'd recommend recycling. Um, if I I can hot compost now, and if I do get a hot composting system, I will try it again in there um, because I would love to just be able to throw them in the in the hot composting recycling system. Then in, in or in recycling composter. They're still being recycled, I guess, in a way, just into my yard instead of into more paper. But uh, if I can do that, I eventually will. Now, as far as this bin goes, it does need some help. It needs some food. As you can see, the worms are crawling up the side there. I think that they are hungry. So I have a mixture here, and this is a mixture of some oats, my old-fashioned oats here that I've got, and some bird seed that I have. I'm gonna just kind of sprinkle this on the top here and along with some crushed egg and crab shell probably in just a minute. Oops, I didn't mean to make a big pile like that. I'm gonna mix this in anyhow. This is just gonna give them something to kind of chew on here. But I'm gonna add in some more of our crushed crab and egg shell as well. I don't think this needs any more water. I think if I do, I think it's just gonna turn into a uh, thick mess. But this is gonna give them at least something to, some more food here, kind of mix that in. Give them something to chew on. It's also nice and dry, so it's not going to add more moisture to the system right now. I did debate on adding more, like, of my fruits and veggies, but I do have some of this that I've been trying to get rid of. These oats are well past expiration, and the bird seed that we had, um, we found that um, is worthless. <laughs> it was a really cheap bird seed. It was not a good idea to buy it. The birds don't eat it. They just throw it all over my yard. So that's why we're throwing it in here. We're just grinding it up first. I'm using the magic bullet blender that I've got that uh, I've had for years and there we go so this system looks a little bit better now hopefully this will dry out a little bit I think it's gonna be ready to harvest and go through the sorting machine I'm just trying to get all the stuff off of here right now don't want any worms on here because if they're on these gloves they're gonna die from being dried out but overall the system looks good I mean it, the worms are sort of smaller I think this will be really difficult to go through a sorting um, I'll probably have to lure them out maybe or maybe uh, the next time after after this after i get them to kind of all move back into the system again and not be spread out quite as uh much along the sides where there's and bulk up a little bit we can add like a a some of these ground up in one section over here and then sort of harvest underneath it so that's it for this system i think we're done with the amazon packaging as you can see right here this has been going now for over um well really uh, not quite 
two months, but long enough where it's, it's you know, it should have been rushed. You know, it's 925 as we had. Sorry, I was looking at the 1-1, 925. So it's been going on for over a quarter now, or, you know, almost four months. So I, I think we actually, yeah, 926 to 226. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So five months. Um, yeah, this is this is done, I think. We're, we're going to call this a failure. Um, the worms cannot compost those little dots that you see in these packages. And I would move those into recycling instead of uh, trying to compost them. So that's just my thoughts. I'm sure others will disagree with me that they've had success, but I did not. So I'm not going to do it anymore. So thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful to you.